Okie dokie. This is the Out Sunny 30 litre heavy duty water or sand filled garden steel roller green. And uh, quite surprised actually. I suppose I should have read the description more carefully. I thought it was going to be plastic, but it is steel. So uh, it's out of the box. I'm just going to put it together. Okay, so uh, as I suspected, and uh, happily, 10 mil nuts and bolts, fairly standard size. No instructions in the box on how to put it together, but uh, what I'd say is a jigsaw puzzle with one, two, three, four, five pieces and six bolts can't be too difficult. So from the photo online, this goes like this, and this like this. And this over the top. Put the washer on the nut side. If you've got a nut and bolt and only one washer, the washer, the nuts come with it are these ones with the nylon insert to stop them loosening off. So reasonably decent quality. They've uh, on the extra few fractions of a cent to uh, have decent nuts and bolts and for the price I'm gobsmacked so far. Okay, the rest of the handle. Okay, so uh, I will need something, a spanner. I'll be back. Okie dokie, 10 mil spanner. And what I'd say is don't over torque nuts and bolts. Um, you can give them a wee nip up later if they seem to be a bit loose, but if you tighten them too much to start with, you'll stretch threads and squash the tubing. Okay, so only two to go. Okay, so uh, that's fabulous. So easy to put together. Okay, the way these work is you can either fill them with sand and water as the name suggests and you get a bung at the side and you pour sand or water in there. I'm going to fill mine with water so that I, so that it is easy to empty it again afterwards and I'll get it in situ before I do that. Okay so just to correct myself and any misconception here about this particular roller product. It did actually come with instructions uh, which I'd managed to put on the bench. But interestingly I've managed to put it together exactly as per the instructions without any issues. So that's mighty. Okay, filling this very straightforward. Just take the bung out and uh, stick the hose in the hole. Okay, so that's uh, full enough for me. I guess you could tip it on its side if you really wanted to squeeze an extra few kilos out of it. Put the bung back in and uh, I'm actually quite surprised at how good a seal it is. It doesn't leak at all. Yeah, very pleased with it. So I bought this for a very specific job and I'll just show you what that is right now. Wildflowers are becoming 
increasingly popular and I have a couple of very good reasons for wanting to plant them in this area. First of all, I've got a lot of lawn and to be honest, I'm fed up mowing it all. Probably a more pressing requirement for wildflowers for me is I grow eucalyptus trees here in Ireland and eucalyptus trees suffer from blue gum psyllid and in order to attract predators I want a wildflower area to attract ladybirds and lacewings. So I want to put the wildflower seed down and then I want to squeeze it into the soil as much as possible so the birds don't eat it before it's had a chance to germinate. So that's why I've got this uh, sunny roller. I thought about just stamping it into the ground soles first but this is 160 meters and I thought you know what Craig a roller will do a better job more easily and quickly so that's why I've got the sunny roller. So I'll just uh, give you see if we can have a demonstration of me squeezing the seed into the soil. Okay so uh, pretty much as I'm was saying this area is uh, where I want to plant a wildflower area, patch, garden. So I want to use the roller to make sure that the seed is squashed down into the soil as much as possible. So it comes in contact with the soil so that the birds don't eat it, etc. So I'm just going to spread some seed here. Let's see how the roller gets on. This is a fairly steep slope. I, if you watch another video I made, I have got these micro spikes on. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that. So all things considered, I am really pleased with the sunny 30 kilo garden roller. Enjoy.